Jeff Conway passed away today at the age of 60. Uh, you might remember seeing him in the movie called Grease or the show called Taxi. And he played Kaneki in the movie Grease with John Travolta and Olivia Newton John. He passed away today in a coma where he went into the hospital May the 11th but died today because they took him off of life support and he was loved by everybody in the movie Grease and the show Taxi and the little small gigs he had in certain movies and shows and so on and so forth. But he was really big, but he was only known for Taxi and Grace. And, um, they sent him in celebrity rehab where he was constantly on drugs. And he said the reason why he was on drugs is because how, how he had all these surgeries and his back was hurting got addicted to alcohol and pain pills and all like that. You know, it's kind of sad though. It's sad though to see that he's passed away like that. And I'm playing this song from Grace if y'all hear it. Just give him a hook up. Just show something. Respect and love, so respect his brother. But I felt bad for him when he, my son in celebrity rehab. I was like, "Damn, what's the dude from Greece doing in this one? Going on here, man?" I was like, "Shit, damn." Dude from Greece. I was like, "What the fuck?" But uh, you know, it was that bad with him, where he was on drugs that bad, where he was killing himself slowly go from the top and you fall to the bottom. Addicted to pain pills and alcohol and thinking, damn. That's, that's, that's sad, man. I ain't got a, uh, ain't no punk head, but the, the movie growing up watching, growing up in school, man, with teaching studs watch this, I was like, alright, kind of go okay, movie it was not wasn't a big fan back in the day when I was a kid, but, but seeing him in Taxi, man, I was a big fan of Taxi, though, when Nicky Knight used to play it, and I was a big fan of that, that's bad enough that Taxi already lost one cast, man, cast member, and, uh, uh, what's his name, uh, Andy Kaufman. See, they already lost one cast member, Andy Kaufman. He, and now they losing Jeff Conway. And that's, that, that, that ain't making no better. But, but it's sad, though, to see, to see him like, to see him go out like that now. He needed some definite help, and he tried to get it. I felt bad for him but he did uh, pass away like it because it was kind of sad though man but I guess all them drugs doing and drinking and shit got him got him where he got him in that position in the hospital where his family put the plug on his ass but that's a bad thing to say but that's what happens when you get to Hollywood, man. You get that fame and fortune. You can get that spotlight real quick. Real quick. You go to Hollywood thinking you're going to be somebody. And you go out there and you get the big ass, getting these big ass movie deals and these big TV shows. And you have it one week, next week, you, you ain't got it. 
get him to Jeff Conway, right? He had it. Forget him now. He passed away, man. That's what people need to realize when you go to Hollywood. You would think that you're going to get get up in the, with the stars, man. Be a, oh, I'm going to have my name on the Walk of Fame. I'm going to have my name on the Walk of Fame. Your life is cut short before you even get to it. Just sat out of this man and lost his life because he went out to Hollywood and got a good and, and made his name well known and got addicted to drugs and alcohol and, and now he's dead today at the age of 60. 60 years old dead of alcohol and drug abuse. Dead. 60 years old, man. You always hear about all these youngsters dying of alcohol and drug abuse, but never somebody that's 60 years old or 40 years old or 50 years old. Heath Ledger died, what happened? Oh, we're going to talk about Heath Ledger, he died 30 years old, 30, 29 years old, he was doing drugs, there's no hand doing drugs, all these young people doing drugs, but you never hear somebody over the age of 35 or 30 or 40 doing drugs or passing away, but that's sad, man, never thinking that somebody that's in their 60s it's in their 60s doing drugs. Man, what's talented? But damn. Life was spiraling down because of alcohol and drug abuse. Six years old and died of drug abuse and alcohol abuse. Sad man, had it all and he lost it. That's sad man. I thought that he died like it, but he ain't deserve all that man. I knew the brother had issues, but I ain't know he had it that bad where he had back problems and all like that. Somebody would uh wish she got help sooner before later. Cause one thing is that was kind of sad. He got help later than sooner. Nobody didn't want to help him. If they would have helped him sooner. He probably would have been alive today, healthy as a horse. But they waited too damn long just to give this brother some help, and he's dead today at 60 years old from alcohol and drug abuse. That's and that's what these people need to realize today. You think you go to Hollywood and get your stardom. But you go to Hollywood and you catch your drug problem. Because every celebrity goes to Hollywood is going to have a drug problem, alcohol problem, a sex problem. And it's sad to see this man that, that, that worked his way up to, to from nothing to something. Dying 60 years old from a drug and alcohol problem. Good actor. He ain't never died like it. That's a damn shame. Well, this is Afro Joe. I'm going to tell you like this. Rest in peace, uh, Jeff Conway. That's how he passed away. I give some prayers out to your family. But like I said, this is Afro Joe. If you like what you have, what I had to say, leave a comment, be your response. Subscribe to my channel if you're on YouTube. If you don't like what I got to say, then don't even think about commenting on my videos or commenting on nothing that I do, because I don't want your negativity. I don't. So, uh, like I said, thank y'all.